Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. Today we are going to look at a medium level problem from lead code. The problem number is 429. It's an array tree level order traversal. So given an n array tree, return the le uh, level order traversal of its node values. So we need to return the values. Okay, so n array tree input serialization is represented in their level order traversal. Each group of children is separated by the null value C example. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. Let's see what they are telling us. So in the example one, we can see that the root node is one and it has three child. Unlike a normal tree where we see just the left child and the right child, something similar to this. Here, what we can see that this has uh, more than uh, two childs. So that's the speciality of an array tree where n can be uh, greater than or equal to zero. So it can have zero or more children at every level for every node. Okay, so on the third level, again, we see there are just two child. So if we have to do a level order traversal, we should get answer like for level zero, we have one node for level two, we have uh, three nodes and for level three, we have two nodes. So answer would be one, so you can see one, three, two, four, three, two, four, and then followed by five and six, five and six. Okay, so uh, let's look at a more complex example given below. So here we can see that uh, the root is one and the root has four child, two, three, four, and five. And again, each of them has one or more child. So at every level, so this belongs to level one, this belongs to level two, this belongs to level three and four, so on and so forth. This is five. So at level one, we have one and level two, we have two, three, four, five. At uh, level three, we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, and then only 14. So we need to return a list of lists over here, as you can see. So this, uh, uh, there will be a main list and uh, uh, for each of the uh, element of the list will be a list containing these values, these values, right? So yeah, to give it a try yourself, as I always recommend, and over to the board for the solution. So here I have taken the example from the lead code, the complex tree, and the definition uh, of the nodes. So it has a value and it has a list of children and a bunch of constructors that we are not uh, interested in at the moment. So what we are going to do in, with that? We are going to do a level order traversal. And what we know about an array tree is that the root has root has one element so we just know one thing from uh, from an n array tree that level zero will have one element we are not sure about the rest of the rest of the tree it could have uh, zero greater than or equals to zero nodes for every node right so we we don't know anything we don't know that it has a left or a right so it is all has been denoted by the list of nodes Okay, so we are going to use a queue as we have done for normal level order traversal and we are going to see how we, are, uh, we will use the queue, uh, queue in order to come up with the solution. So in a general level order traversal, what we do is we add the, add the root, root of the uh, root of the tree, which is one into the queue and we, we start our iteration. Okay, so we uh, this this is how we initialize, and what we do is we iterate until the queue becomes empty. We keep on adding childs at every level, and we we pop them out. So from one end, we push the childs, we pop them out. We push the childs, we pop them out from the other end. So for this queue, from this is the side where we are going to be queuing things, and this is the end where we'll be dequeuing things. So this is the DQN. So currently only one element is present in the queue and that is one. And the next thing that we are going to do is we get the size in a very variable called size. And what we do is get the size of the queue. So at every step we will, uh, before we start popping out, we should know how many elements belong to this level. So it is very important. We keep the track of the size. Suppose there are five elements, but when I start popping them out, I'll be adding more elements at the back. So this will indicate me what are the values that I am going to consider at this level. The rest all belongs to some different level. Okay, so once we get the size here, the next thing that we are going to do is iterate again. 
so we are going to iterate from one to the size uh, both are inclusive so uh, it will be in the code it will be different it will be from zero to less than size but i have taken one to size so it's all the same thing so this 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 is the number of times we are going to pop elements out so at the initial level what i'll get over here is a one because there is only one element in the queue at this moment right and this loop over here is going to iterate just one time because the size is one so it will start from one end at one and it will be iterating just once and what we are going to do inside it we are going to pop elements out of the queue and store them say in x and for each so what we are going to do is we are going to pop one out so one is here at the moment so i got a one over here so one is nothing uh, but the root node that's been indicated over here and for a normal tree what we used to do we used to add the left child and the right child but here we don't have a left and a right child but it could have a bunch of childs right so for node one there will be four four childs two three four and five and they will be stored in this children list over here so what we are going to do so for each child in children of x add to the queue so i have popped this out i have popped one out so let me use a different color over here and for each child we are going to add them to the queue so what we'll be basically doing is add two three four five to the queue all these childs will be added and this this loop will continue and we will be keep adding adding to the result as well so this this has iterated only one time in this case right so we will create a list and add one to it so we'll just put one to it because this has iterated only one time next what happens we we come to the top again and we check if the queue is empty the queue is not empty we ask for the size of the queue and we get a four so i know there are four four elements belonging to level one and these are these four elements right so we know the count so we start popping things out of the queue so the first when i do a pop operation over here the first thing that get out is a two i check for all the children of two and there is no elements for two so i i carry on so this loop will now go on for four times previously it went on for one time this time it will go on for four times so i get a three i pop three out and i get a three over here and i add three's child so three styles are nothing but six and seven. So I am adding six and seven over here to the queue. So now we will understand the importance of maintaining the size, right? Because at this point, I don't know how far should I go, but this size variable will give, will act as an indicator for me. And it will tell that I have to go for two more nodes only and rest all nodes if present belong to the next level and not this level, right? So. I carry on I pop four out and I, I get a four over here I get a four over here I check for four childs and I get an eight and I add eight to the queue I, I move on and uh, what I get is I pop out a five now so I get a five over here I add all five child so I add nine and ten to the queue so nine and ten is again queued over here and the the list at this position will have two three four and five it goes on I, I i come to the top again over here and i get the size of the queue and this time i get a size of five so i know there are five elements at this level and they are these elements and whatever element if present would belong to the next level and not this level so what i do i start queuing out the queuing out so i get a six over here I check for six child there is no child so this list will start building up over here I get a seven I check for seven child and what I get is a 11 so let me put a 11 over here and then it goes on so uh, I am done with six and seven I come to eight and I look for eight child so seven is added here I look for eight child and what I get uh, what I get is um, a 12 so I add that 12 to the queue and I move on and 8 gets added to my final list of answer then I pop up pop, pop out again I get a 9 I look for 9 child I get a 13 so I put 13 in the queue so let me extend it from here and 
and there is only one child so I continue and I put 9 here as well then I pop out again I get a 10 10 has no child so I know that uh, I am done with 10 there is no child to be added so 10 is added this list is getting built as you can see okay so for the next level what I do I get I come to the top again over here and I, I check is it empty it's not empty I get the size again so I get a number three okay and if you see there are three childs again once again so I start popping out I pop out 11 and put 11 over here as well and 11 here as well and uh, what I see that 11 has only one child and I add them to the list so I add let me change the color 14 to the list and 11 is has been popped out so I pop out 12 next 12 has no child ignore it no child I pop out again I get a 13 what I do it has no child so 11 12 and 13 is added over here and uh, what happens it, it goes to the top and it checks whether the queue is empty or not it's not I get a size 1 so 13 is also popped out so I pop out again and what I get is a 14 over here so I try to look for 14 child there is no child I add 14 to it and if you have seen I have a size only one so I go to the top now 14 has been popped out and here what I see is my queue is empty and what I do from here I just come out and return this result back and that is the entire solution all about so let's head over to the uh, lead code and see how it looks on the code so as discussed uh, first we'll uh, need to create this list of result that we'll be sending back so this will have our final results so let's call it results and it would be a array list and at the end we'll be returning back this results okay so this results will consist of many result so first we are going to check that if uh, root is passed as null then there is no point in processing any further so in that case we'll be returning back the results that we have created here otherwise what we are going to do we will be needing a queue and where we'll be storing node and let's call this queue and let this be a linked list implementation okay and uh, what we are going to do we are going to add the root to it as we have done in the example uh, as well so, and we are going to iterate until the queue is empty so here the first thing that will will require is to get the size of the queue that's the most important thing at this point so another important thing that we have also discussed in our whiteboard is this list over here so this list is nothing but the list of integers that we will be adding to our main list right so if you uh, remember this would basically become a list of list right that's what uh, uh, it is so at every level we are putting different values to it so we are going to do the same thing pretty much the same thing over here as well so we are going to uh, create a list of integers and we'll call them result and it's going to be a new array list so we'll be pushing the results so we will have our loop over here and uh, we will be adding result inside this loop and once we have the result prepared inside we are going to add it to the result and in this loop as you remember we are going to start from zero and till the size and will be incrementing and uh, we are going to pop as well so let's call it element and we are doing a queue dot pop okay so once we have once we have the have the uh, element popped out of the queue what we are going to do is we are going to result.add we are going to do and it is represented by val so we are going to add the value to this result and the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go over all the all the child so child le dot um, children so we are going to get the child all the childs and add them to the queue okay 
so yeah this is pretty much the solution so let's run and check i have done some mistake for sure yes i continue to do some mistake so we are doing a pop it will be a pull it's a stack it's not a stack it's going to be a pull so yeah it has been accepted let's submit and check yes it's accepted we have a pretty decent uh, performance and uh, yeah once again the main intention is the solution so you got the simplicity of the solution i hope uh, do give it a like do subscribe if you haven't done so to give it a like if you think this um, answer was helpful for you i'm going to create more videos down the line of different medium and hard level problems um, and uh, it means a lot of a uh, lot to me hearing back from you guys and getting a like on the videos so yeah uh, i'll be doing more videos that's all from this video have a great day see you guys again and bye bye